Okay, so the first um, parameter we need to feed in is the image itself, which we've created up here with the uh, name image. So let's just load that in um, first of all. Okay, so the next parameter we need to give it is the watermark file. So essentially what we're saying is um, put this on top of this. So we're saying put the watermark on top of this image. Uh, so they're the first two parameters easy to remember. The next are the, is the obviously the position of the watermark. So that's X and Y. Remember we created our X variable here and our Y variable here, which is minus 10 pixels from the bottom and the right. Uh, in the very corner. Um, now we need the um, it's the so this is the um, the um, position of the watermark. Uh, the next is the destination source, which um, not the destination source, sorry, the x and y coordinate of the source point, which we don't need to worry about in this case. We can set that to zero. The reason being is that we're starting at zero zero. In fact, earlier I said that zero starts from here. Many apologies, it's from here. Okay, so we're saying we're sort of saying zero minus ten inwards type thing. If you oh no wait, I'm not actually sure where the um, coordinate parts start points. Anyway, so zero zero for this bottom corner, and we're going in ten. Okay, so the next is the watermark width and the watermark height. So this is very important, obviously. So watermark underscore width, which we uh, determined earlier, and watermark underscore height, which we also determined earlier, and put into these variables. Okay, so the last one is the opacity of the watermark. Now, like I said, I want this at a 20% opacity. The maximum or the minimum value is zero for this, which would uh, render it sort of invisible. And the um, maximum is 100. So I'm going to set this to 20, so it's going to give us a nice sort of fading image. Okay, so that's the image copy merge function all done. It's quite handful with all the uh, parameters we need to give into it, um, but now we should have achieved what we want. So the last uh, function we need to supply is the image JPEG function. And what this is going to do is it's going to actually put the image onto the page. So remember earlier we changed our header file to um, image JPEG. Now what we need to do is actually process this image onto the page. So I'm just going to supply it with the image um, file there, which is um, what we supplied earlier. And we've copied our watermark onto this. So now hopefully when we supply a source file uh, this should uh, work let's just create an error message at the end of here uh, just for purposes um, our own purposes no source supplied so let's go into our browser and just go over to generate.php on its own and um, we should have received no source supplied um, Oh no, we haven't obviously because we've set out our our uh, content type. Uh, that's just me being a bit stupid. So okay, let's um, let's just come on to our generate.php file. Um, okay, now let's uh, supply our source in. So I'm going to say source equals phone.jpg. So as soon as I do this, the the phone.jpg file will be read in by this. The source will become phone.jpg, and the rest of our code should process. So fingers crossed that this is going to work. Okay, yeah, so it's worked. We have successfully merged with a 20% opacity our logo here onto our main image. So let's just fiddle around with this um, and I'll explain. If I was to do 100 um, opacity, uh, you can see that this has uh, come and uh, basically you can't see through it. So that's something that you could change. Um, another um, thing that you could change is say, change these values, let's go for minus 100, and we'll see that our, um, our uh, watermark comes inwards more. Um, so 10 is obviously, 10 is probably a good one. You could go as low as two, I guess, or even zero to have it on the very outside of the page. Uh, but 10, I just played around with it earlier and I thought was a nice um, width away. Um, obviously, you can change your um, watermark. Um, you are not limited to PNG files, but I recommend um, you probably use these anyway. Um, and just generally have a play around. I mean, you can you can specify different uh, settings, things like that. We we've already looked at what each function does and why we've um, given a variable a particular value or why we've um, created specific things in specific places. 
Um, so yeah, that's basically uh, watermarking. Now what we want to do is this generate.php file exists solely as an image. So you obviously don't want to, uh, you know, do this to uh, show this to your users or anything. Uh, but what you want to do is show this from an index um, index file. Now um, we're going to do this, and then we're going to have a look at saving out our um, generated um, file as well, or generated image rather. So in in the source, I can type in generate.php. Sorry. So we can uh, create this PHP file inside this uh, HTML element, the image element, as um, as an image. So even though it's a PHP file, it now exists as, as an image because obviously we've changed um, our header, our content type at the top. Um, so now we can say source equals phone.jpg. So this is what you would do if you wanted to just display a watermarked image uh, on the fly, if you like. Um, let's go over to index.php. You see how this is moved in now. We can grab it, we can copy it, um, we can paste it and things like that. Um, however, this is um, useful in some instances, but if you were were to say, let's give an example, you were, you were uh, allowing file uploads and you were allowing uh, users to upload JPEG images, what you might want to do somewhere in your um, upload process is run um, this um, run this uh, generate.php file and you might want to um, read in this source file but then all you want to do is you might not want to output it to the screen you might want to save this JPEG um, or overwrite it so what we essentially do is we create a new file with the merged things we don't just want to output it to the user so how do we go about around here saving our file rather than just displaying it out well the solution is simple we don't actually need to delete anything or create any new functions but we can take take advantage of additional parameters that this image JPEG um, function allows us. So let's just open uh, and see what we've already got here. We've got logo.png and we've got phone.png. We don't have a combined version of the two. These two both correspond to their own and their own rights. The, the logo is the logo, the phone is the picture of the phone. However, if we just stick a comma in here and we specify where we want our file to be written to, um, and what we want to call the file then we can create a new file from this so let's think logically about this if if the um if the name of the file was to be called source at the moment it's called phone.jpg we want to name it something similar so source but then we want to append on um well it's phone it's source.jpg um we could say dot um watermarked dot jpg for example so we've got we'll now have phone dot jpg dot watermark dot jpg um, or even underscore watermark dot jpg whatever it doesn't really matter you, you can call it the original file and it or I think it'll overwrite itself anyway so now let's have a look what happens when we uh, run our index.php oh okay Okay, maybe not. Let's just check inside our. Um, oh, we don't want that. Let's just check inside here. Okay, yeah. So we've got phone.jpg.watermark.jpg. Uh, let's have a look at that in our browser. So we go over to phone.jpg, which is the original, by the way. Um, dot watermarked dot jpg. Okay, so yeah, it's saved. It hasn't displayed it out to us, um, but this is obviously, again, a perfect example of why you might not want to display it to your user, but you might want to just watermark images as you upload them. So this is a great function to use if you were to be doing something like that. So, you know, u uploading a, uh, a file, or allowing your users to upload a file, you can automatically create a wa watermark on it, save it, and then reference back to the file name in whatever methods you choose. So this has basically been watermarking images um, with GD library inside PHP. Have a play around with it, see what you can do.